Hi there, beautiful beings, and welcome to my sacred space. My name is Raven. Thank you so much for being here. Today, we are going to do another dashboard reading for you. Dashboard readings are basically like a quick snapshot of the energy surrounding you in terms of life, love, and finances. And we are asking Spirit for guidance to help you navigate your way through it. All right. Please note, my readings are timeless, so whenever you find this video, that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from Spirit. Also, these readings are general, so not everything will fit your situation. So only pick what does, use your intuition to guide you, and leave the rest behind. Lastly, as a form of an energy exchange between you and I, I would like to ask you to please focus your gaze on the crystals in front of you, and whichever one calls out to you the most, select that pile. That way... Your intuition will be working with mine and we can get a more accurate reading for you. All right. For group number one, we have this raw Labradorite, beautiful, beautiful flash, and the Dream Keeper's Tarot. Group number two, we have this piece of Howlite Crystal and the Kawaii Tarot. Group number three, I have this Malachite, a slice of Malachite. And the bee, uh, the journey of the sacred bee tarot. I'll meet you in your beatings. Hello there, beautiful beings from group number one. If your intuition guided you to select this stunning raw labradorite crystal or the dream keepers tarot, this is going to be your reading. Please be reminded my readings are always timeless. So, whenever you find this video, that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from spirit. Also, these readings are general, so please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Okay. Thank you so much, angels and spirit guides. I'm truly grateful for your presence, protection, and guidance. Calling on Archangel Metatron for your guidance as well. Please help me read for group number one. What do they need to know most? We have the Hermit. The Knight of Cups. And the seven of pentacles what are you waiting for group number one i feel like you are keeping yourself locked up i feel like you are waiting for someone's apology you're waiting for someone to return to give you an apology or to reconcile with you or you know you feel like this thing you know it doesn't always have to be a relationship it could mean like a family member or perhaps some a good friend or you know maybe work related um but in essence what i'm seeing is that you have been investing so much in this connection in this in this huge chunk of your life that you feel like is very very important but something went awry and i feel like you're waiting for someone to come in for to give you an apology I, I, that's exactly what this um uh knight of cups is giving me that's the energy that's giving me i feel like you think that once this person comes in and gives you the apology that you want or that you have been seeking you are going to you know somewhat be revived and you know return to who you were but you know what i feel like you could be spending this hermit time the wrong way you shouldn't be waiting for someone's apology. You shouldn't be waiting for someone to get back to you. Or you shouldn't spend your hermit time. Hermit time for me is like this period in your life wherein you are going quiet. You're going away from everyone. Right? You're hiding because you're the hermit. And I feel like the reason why you're doing that is somewhat misguided. Okay? Um, just for some of you, I feel like you're you're doing it purposefully so that people will realize that you're not showing up so that they will come to you. That is somewhat manipulative energy. So if, if you're doing that subconsciously, perhaps it's time to reconsider your thoughts. I feel like there is a better way for you to use this time and that is to go deeper than yourself. Do some soul searching. Why are you feeling this way? You know, go and find your... Uh, core your inner self right go and find that because um in the in these bouts of quiet period um that is when we get to communicate with ourselves that is when we get to connect to our higher selves and i feel like this solitude is not being used um as how you know as fruitful as it should be if, am, I, am i making sense again brain fog but yes so 
yeah, you're here, you're waiting for this apology, you know, you're hoping, it's in your head, you, f- you feel like, okay, once this person comes in, once this person tries to reconcile with me and change things, you know, things will be better, but really, you should be thinking or going deep within yourself and finding out why is this person so important to you, what is it about this person that you think you really like, what is it, what is it, you know, what? why, why am I feeling this way, why should I be waiting for this person, why can't I, you know, fix myself? If there are things that needs to be fixed, address that and then go out into the world and, you know, step out of this hermit period with a different um, sense of self-worth, okay? I got a little deeper into it than I would have wanted, but let's go ahead. What else do they need to know, Spirit? We have the Nine of Cups. Uh-huh. The Star. Okay, what else? five cups see somewhat these two uh, piles or these two columns are somewhat related okay nine of cups is your wish fulfillment right this is something that you have always wanted this is something like your dreams being realized you know maybe you want to reconnect with this person this group of people or whatever i feel like what you need to do right now is really to focus on your healing you know there is a bright energy deep within you and you have to realize that the future is so much brighter for you regardless if with your person or with this person or not or with this group of people or not focus on yourself as you can see in the nine of cups you see this lady she's putting butterflies inside her stomach and as you can see her gut is kind of like shaped into a keyhole so what it tells me is that you know you need to undergo the transformation to achieve the happiness that you have always wanted okay that is just deep within you you trust your gut it's in your gut see she's putting the butterfly butterfly is um um a symbol of metamorphosis right and as you can see like she's putting it deep within her and that is an act of self-love Okay, you're allowing yourself to go into the darkness to transform. You are in the darkness right now with the hermit card, right? But, you know, the light is also deep within you. As you can see, this person is holding a candle and that is her reflection, right? Sometimes we feel like we are in a dark womb with no, with no source of light. But, you know, if we look deep within ourselves, we are the light. So I feel like you need to really uh, reevaluate the people in your life right now, right? So that you can identify who brings you this five of cups energy who is making you feel so distraught so miserable so sad that you can't see other beautiful things around you i feel like you have been consumed by this for a long time that you need to get out of that energy fast okay and the way for you and the key for you to get out of there is transformation self-love it's here it's written here that is how you get out of this situation and after that then you can move forward with your healing right the star is a card that speaks of healing miracles hope for the future and there is a lot in line for you group number one i feel like the key is really you so you know whoever this person is whoever brought you pain and all of that it's 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 enough it's time for you to get out of that energy and move away and step into the light and heal and you know start investing in yourself more start appreciating yourself more and don't worry so much about what other people think you know what's important is you like yourself okay you love yourself and you give yourself the um uh, the care that it deserves okay because once you do that you will realize your worth you will stand in your own worth and you will not allow other people to treat you otherwise do you know what i mean in terms of your finances we have let me just move all of these here i don't have enough space we have the three of wands the two of cups and the full okay in terms of your finances group number one i feel like there is going to be some sort of risk that you are contemplating on okay this is this risk this new beginning is going to be um a confirmation for you right you have been working a lot you have been focusing on your craft i feel like um you are in this um this energy of already kind of like expecting something good to 
come out of the things that you have invested in terms of your life, okay? And I see some sort of expansion gap happening, okay? There could have been some sort of like a partnership. Maybe you 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 partnered with someone um, to start a project, right? Or maybe um, you you signed up for a new company. That's the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is... Um, oh, I'm being reminded that the Two of Cups is also a choice card, right? So you, this is a this is a partnership that you actually chose, a partnership that you decided that you're gonna work on it. Doesn't have to be, you know. This is your career, okay? Career, studies, and finances. So I feel like you are connected with um, someone who gets you, someone who is in the same wavelength that the, as you, and you are already expecting the return of investment right we have the three of wands here and this person is waiting in the sea expecting her ships to come in right so i feel like you are there you're looking ahead in terms of your career in terms of your finances um and it is uh it is going to happen after you decide to take that risk okay perhaps this is something that you haven't done before perhaps you know you you're you're kind of like um, stepping out of your comfort zone or maybe that is what you need to do you need to step out of your comfort zone work on that project you know work on that partnership collaboration with someone and is going to um, be lucrative for you moving forward okay what else an advice for group number whoops oh my gosh so sorry have courage yes have courage group number one let me just fix this i'm so sorry have courage move forward in your life like especially i think this card is kind of like for everyone Do you know what i mean just have the courage you have it deep within you i feel like all of these are kind of like connected with have courage you know you're here you're stuck inside um because you're afraid to go out of the world maybe you're fearing of what other people will think of you now that this person is no longer with you now that you're not connected with this group of friends you know don't think too much about what other people say or in this case, maybe, you know, you, you don't have the courage to face the situation right now because you feel like once you face it, you won't accept it or you can't accept it. Or maybe you feel like once you um, accept the situation or face the situation, it's going to be a done deal. But, you know, you won't be able to process whatever trauma or whatever hurt or whatever pain you have experienced from this unless you accept it. So that is the first step. You accept it and then you begin to heal. And in terms of your work, I feel like, you know, you are being asked to have the courage to take that leap of faith because something very beautiful is coming in for you. That is what I have for you, group number one. I hope this reading resonated in some way. I hope it helped you. If it did, please let me know in the comment section below or you know, maybe give it a like or subscribe to my channel for future readings like this. Thank you so much and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye! Hello there beautiful beings from group number two. If your intuition guided you to select this beautiful highlight crystal or the Kawaii Tarot, this is going to be your reading. Please be reminded my readings are timeless. So whenever you find this video, that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from spirit. These are general readings. So please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. So today we're doing a dashboard reading, which means we're going to check the energy surrounding you in terms of your life, love and finances higher studies career uh the third file is just mostly about other things in your life okay thank you so much angels and spirit guides i'm truly grateful for your presence protection and guidance can you please help me read for group number two what do they need to know most right now we have the seven of fonts we have the three of swords hmm and the ten of coins you're fighting for something group number to. it can be a family life it can involve your family life maybe there's some arguments in your family and it's causing you a lot of hurt a lot of heartaches maybe some disagreements in your family but you're standing your ground over here you feel like you are left alone you feel like everyone has turned their backs on you but you know what your family will always be there to love you your family is always going to take care of you right because at the end of um, ten of pentacles or the ten of coins card basically talks about your like a um, legacy and i feel like this is something that you have always wanted to protect but for some reason you feel like it's falling apart right now and it's something to do with some sort of like heartache or something that you need to process okay perhaps there are some issues with your with your family life right um i don't know maybe some fights with your parents or your siblings and whatnot and it's causing you a lot of hurt hurt and heartache 
right? With the Seven of Wands energy here is I feel like you are determined to um, assert your dominance, okay? In a way that, you know, maybe is a little bit too harsh um, to your family. Um, maybe they're trying to get to you. Maybe you're isolating yourself. Who knows, right? I, I wouldn't know. You would know better than I do. So, you know, relate this reading um, how you see fit in your life. What you need to know, group number one, two, is that whenever we are in dark places, like if we are depressed, if we are hurting, if we are in pain, our family members, they feel it too. You might feel like your family is not giving you enough support, but I feel like they are. Let's see. Yeah, the arguments that um, I feel like whatever concerns or hurt that you're feeling right now is just aggravated by more arguments, right? When we are not in a good position in life in terms of our emotions or, you know, our, men our mental state, we tend to really just hate on the people that's closest to us, right? Um, instead of like, and that's something that happens, come on, I'm not gonna lie, it happened to me too. Like when I was really depressed, I would hate on people surrounding me. Instead of me appreciating the support that they're giving me, they, you know, they would come in, I would talk to them and then eventually just, you know, get out of my room. Like, you, because you are experiencing hurt, you are, you're in pain and you're not in the best state of mind to see things from a different perspective because you are just so in that pain you're living in that pain that you can't see that the people around you just really care for you and they want you to you know um get out of that shell right and i feel like maybe that's what's ex what that's what you are experiencing right now in terms of maybe there was a heartache or a heartbreak or something it's just that you can't seem to get on the same page as your family because whenever they try to reach to you it's you're like this like this cat in the middle and every and, you know uh, surrounding you is a cactus and it'll hurt them to get to you but see they're still going but what happens is you know it just ends into another argument which causes you to be a little bit more defensive moving forward but always remember that your family is here for you they love you they want to take care of you just allow them open your heart heal and eventually you will realize you will look back one day and realize oh my gosh you know hey my family is just really looking out for me so this is something that you might want to consider right now in terms of your life. Like, don't shut people out, all right? What else? What do they need to know? Okay, we got two. Yeah, the King of Cups. King of Swords. And the... Ooh, what is up? A lot of male energies. Well, not really male energies, but a lot of strong leaders here in terms of your love life. Group number two. You could, there could have been like several different people involved in or you are kind of like around like a couple of people right now different energies right the king of cups is coming in as someone who's very romantic someone who's very sweet you know this is someone who we're kind of like sweep you off your feet okay king of cups is someone who's very loyal and friendly and you just you know you just realize oh my gosh we are on the same wavelength the king of swords on the other hand is someone who, who i feel like you are attracted to because of their quick thinking their quick wit this is someone who's very um you would see them deep in thought and then you would ask them what are you thinking and then you would be mind blown by the thoughts that this person is like thinking right i feel like you are attracted to this person because of their personality and you are attracted to this other person because of how they think and you know i guess it's going to be difficult for you to choose but you are being shown here as the emperor right and the emperor is kind of like above all of the kings in the deck so the emperor is someone who is um very stable okay this is someone who's very uh, dependable um already experiencing success in life but what i'm i'm seeing uh, what i'm feeling and what i'm sensing is that you just need to find or assess both of these people it doesn't have to be male okay it can also be female you know these can also be female we're just talking about the qualities of the cards like the king of uh, the king of swords and the king of um, cups we're talking about their qualities so even if they're female apply it as, as how you see fit but you're here as the emperor and what you need right now in your life is some sort of stability and a strategy to move forward so what do you need to do F you know i don't know maybe you're just choosing between two pe people right what you do is you go deep within yourself and find what you actually want in a partner right write it down write it down and you know um cross check with each of the person or the two people that you're choosing between so i mean this is not a bad problem i feel like you just are in need of guidance who to choose who to hang out with 
um, so you will learn you you don't have to ask other people about that the the only person who has to answer for that is you and i feel like you just need to be strategic with this like like i said you know um you're someone who's very dependable so i feel like you can really depend on yourself right you you know that you know that you um you're very smart you're very successful so you ad ad adapt um apply that actually rather apply that with when you're when it's time for you to make a decision about this okay we are the six of funds yes <laughs> it's time for you to be um to give someone the crown but more than that i feel like it is important for you to be recognized as a partner so you know we, whichever of these two will be able to come and say hey you know yeah you are my partner i'm proud of you and someone is going to sh show you show you off to his her friends you know maybe that's something that that's very important to you when it comes to a relationship then find out who among these two is like that and go with that person you don't have any problem when it comes to your love life group number but at least not but not what i'm looking at right now in terms of your finances or career we have the tower Ooh, okay what's going on we have the lovers and we have the star okay well with the tower showing up here there is something like a huge major like a major change in your life or career life that's happening it has something to do with some sort of partnership maybe you've been too focused on your work maybe you don't spend enough time with your you know maybe your best friends your family your partner or whoever i feel like what you need to do right now is just to find some balance in terms of your work life your career and you know the people that you care about and love okay um you know the star is really like a beautiful a very beautiful card in the tarot it's one of my favorite it's my it's my card as an aquarius but yeah i feel like this is here because you need to really do like a little you know, be a little bit more mindful right i feel like it's here because there is something about you i feel that people how do i say that people are drawn in with you and your energy right and i feel like you know you could be someone who is looked up to it in the office right people go to you for everything and anything but be careful not to overwork yourself okay group number two be careful because i feel like you're not putting enough time or giving enough time to the people you care about like you like the lovers here it doesn't always have to be like a lover like a lover lover it could mean like um family member a partner or you know a best friend or a parent you know anyone that you have a strong connection with there's going to be a tower moment you know which will lead you to reassess how you're spending your time i feel like you really need to spend more time with the people that you love okay um and someone is connected to here you know being aloof being away being as um assertive and defensive from your family right so um yeah a tower moment is going to occur but don't be afraid because tower moments are not sent to ruin our lives they're actually sent on our paths to allow us to reassess the situation that we are in right now okay to reassess what we're doing with our lives and it's going to push because the universe keeps sending you nudges right nudges point point poke poke you know you're not moving forward you're not changing and now something is going to happen and you will see that you know your work comes not even the second not even third third right it it can come on like the fourth or the fifth number one is you and number two can be your family your your relationships number three can be i don't know like your friends or your goals whatever prioritize yourself okay no don't prioritize your work i feel like you are really i don't know working too hard so change that we have take stock yes take stock of your achievements in life okay you know what you have done you know what you're capable of and you know see all of that and watch it um and kind of like no not watch it but um count your blessings or be, be grateful that you have experienced all of these blah 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 but you don't need to always compete with yourself okay use it Put it under your belt and use it when the time comes but you don't always have to outdo yourself i feel like because i feel like you're also working on that 
create silence yes create silence i'm gonna put that there because i feel like that is something that you need to do um if you're fighting with your family if you're you know if you're arguing with them a lot what you need to do right now is just silence yourself or <laughs> just go go to a quiet room silence yourself silence your phone silence everything silence quiet your th quiet quiet your thoughts that is when your inner self will talk to you okay and you will find all of the answers that you need to move forward you will find what you need to do to heal and maybe even find you know who you should be with <laughs> in terms of your love part okay that is what i have for you group number two i hope this reading resonated in some way if it did please let me know in the comment section below i would love to hear your thoughts or if not you can always just leave me a like or subscribe to my channel for future readings like this thank you so much for hanging out with me i'm truly grateful see you again soon bye Hello there, beautiful beings from group number three. If your intuition guided you to select this Malachite Slice or the Journey of the Sacred Bee Tarot, this is going to be your reading. Please be reminded that my readings are timeless. So whenever you find this video, that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from spirit. Also, you know, these are general readings. So not everything will connect or fit to your situation only take the advice that does and leave the rest behind today we're doing a dashboard reading which means we're asking spirit for energy surrounding you right now in terms of life love and finances so that we can better guide you through it all right thank you so much angels and spirit guides i'm truly grateful for your presence protection and guidance calling on archangel metatron for guidance as well help me read for group number three please thank you so much we have the Eight of Swords, okay. Whoops. We have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Five of Wands. What is going on? I feel like there is some negative energy surrounding you right now. Huh. Group number three, if there's something that's preventing you from moving forward, um, know that you are limitless, okay? Sometimes we are, when we are ex experiencing pain, hurt, or if we feel ashamed, rejected, and all of that, we tend to shut ourselves in. And I feel like what's happening right now is you are the one who's creating the boundaries around you. Not healthy boundaries, but I feel like you're, you're walling yourself in, okay? You're putting up fortresses, and you're not allowing yourself to go out there and find this new beginning that you deserve we have this eight of what is it oh, they have this ace here ace of wands right is ace, is bring new beginnings right if you're into um if this is a relationship that has ended in the past it caused you a lot of pain you know a lot of arguments five of wands you know a lot of unnecessary squabbles you know in the past and you feel like you don't want to go out there anymore you, you feel somewhat traumatized by this whatever it is it can also be that you for perhaps decided to join a new group of people or meet new people and then you know they weren't um, as nice to you as you have expected them to be and now you're like shutting yourself in whatever limitations you are setting on yourself basically the gist of this part is you know any limitations that you're putting on yourself wake up open your eyes and see that you're the one who put those limitations there allow yourself to go out there meet new people okay don't feel trapped because this hopelessness that you're feeling is right now is just in your head okay these swords that are surrounding you right now you feel like you can't move past them but you have hands you can very well remove these swords and remove these obstacles to move forward because we have the ace of um, ones here which means that you have the ability to start fresh there's a new beginning waiting for you the soon the sooner you step out of this barrier this wall that you have created you are going to move away from all of this strife this could also be some sort of like an inner struggle that's happening within you right now like you're, you don't want to go outside because you're afraid to meet new people you're afraid it's going to happen again remove yourself from that energy remove yourself from that situation and see how limitless you are because you have a lot of potential going on for you group number three we have the ace of swords i'm sorry ace of um wands here and you know it's going to bring good news new beginnings and possibly even new romance okay so just consider that group number three don't allow yourself to fester in, in you know in your own mind or in your own misery in terms of your love life we have the hanged one we have the eight of wands and we have the moon something was hidden from you in the past and the only time that you actually 
allowed yourself to see things from a different perspective was you received a message you definitely received a message from someone and i feel like that message woke you up okay this message that you received what it came quick you weren't expecting this okay maybe somebody told you about what you're the person that you're doing a person you're with is doing right because the moon speaks of hidden truths like these are like dark secrets that are hidden from us right so but the thing is you know i'm also seeing the hanged one and the hanged one you know is the hanged man is actually you know a card that talks about allowing yourself to see things from a different perspective despite the hurt that it might inflict on you do you know what i mean i feel like you are sacrificing some sort of comfort some sort of stability or security um by maybe confronting this person because i feel like you have to you need to because you know whatever secret this person is hiding from you in terms of your relationship it is coming to light and i feel like it's going to come in really 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 fast you're gonna talk to this person you're gonna confront them you're gonna talk to them get or maybe you're not maybe you're still stuck here right maybe this is something that you need to do in terms of your love life because once you get over that we have the chariot very good card to pull out for you the chariot is a card that speaks of you taking control of your life and holding the reins to you know to the horse you are the one who's carry the chariot rather you are carrying yourself out of this situation you're going to bring yourself out of this situation and you are going to find success the moment that you realize that you are limitless and that you hold the power to your own destiny you can do anything that you want and i feel like you don't deserve any um hidden secrets or you know being left in the dark you don't need that if you want to find a relationship find someone who's going to be very open with you very be very communicative okay you don't need to you know sacrifice yourself sacrifice your comfort your freedom your everything you know you'll you're, you'll you'll get there like i said and you a new beginning and success you have very good cards i'm sorry that you know these are happening to you right now but once you see see it from a different perspective like the hang one over here you're, you're 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 going to see or you're going to realize that life is good life is really good and you have very good things promised for you okay in terms of your work life you have nine of wands persistence you have patience seven of discs or seven of pentacles and the five of d uh this is really a confusing deck sorry this is the five of pentacles okay you might be feeling a little bit dreadful right now because i'm sensing some sort of like financial struggle or it doesn't always have to be like you're in debt or whatever maybe you're just realizing that you know your what you're earning from your job right now is not enough to cover all of, all of your bills all of your expenses spirit just wants you to move forward and stay consistent to what you're doing i feel like you're someone who's very hard working and you have the patience to reach your goals so the this deck here or this card here the seven of pentacles is basically just saying that what you are hoping for what you have invested in is going to come to fruition soon you just need to continue moving forward you know the persistence you have the persistence and resilience to stay stand your ground and it will pay off okay whatever worries that you might have in terms of like your finances don't don't think about it too much because you are guided you just need to continue doing what you have been doing for a long time be a hard worker a smart worker and just you know you'll realize that all of these things that you have been working on will pay off okay so let's get more advice cards for you what do they need to know group number three uh, angels and spirit guides please help me guide group number three move forward yes you need to move forward group number three regardless of whatever it is that you are experiencing with your love life if you want i'm gonna put this here because i feel like it's, it's connecting too so i feel like yeah the chariot move forward basically that's it that's a confirmation we don't need to delve <laughs> any any further it is already the answer you need to move away from whatever it is it's keeping you stuck keeping you hopeless and feeling you know making you feel powerless you are not you're very very powerful you can you're not a tree Okay, remove yourself from the situation and everything will be better for you we have study to know yourself yes i feel like you also need to study yourself like i said earlier here you know, you don't have enough um uh how do i say that i feel like you think you don't have enough power deep within you or you feel, like i said you know you're feeling powerless once you take the time to you know shut the world in and go and do some introspection you will realize like think about the things in your life where you experience some hardships and how you encountered them and how you overcame them i feel like you just need to be reminded of a strong smart and you know 
powerful you are. You need to be reminded of your capabilities as a person. And, um, as, you know, you're going to move forward with success. Okay. You need to be confident as well. That's something that's really being bombarded in my head right now. I'm seeing the word confidence. So you need to have that. Okay. And maybe it also coincides with this, you know, study to know yourself. Um, maybe you need to like maybe you're spending too much and maybe that's the reason why you know you feel like you might you're worrying about um financial struggles that you're experiencing right now so just take some quiet time and figure out um your goals in life figure out what you want in your life create some boundaries just take some time study yourself and move forward and everything will be okay for you group number three i hope this reading resonated in some way i hope it helped you if it did please let me know in the comment section below or if you don't want to talk that's perfectly fine maybe consider giving this video a like or subscribe to my channel for future readings like this thank you so much and i hope i see you again soon bye